Colombo is the commercial capital and largest city of Sri Lanka. According to the Brookings Institution, Colombo has a population of 5.6 million metropolitan area, and 752,993 in the city proper. It is the financial center of the island and a popular tourist destination. It is located on the west coast of the island and adjacent to Sri Jaya Ward in Apurakota, the legislative capital of Sri Lanka. Colombo is often referred to as the capital since Sri Jaya Ward in Apurakota is within the urban area of and a satellite city of Colombo. It is also the administrative capital of Western Province, Sri Lanka and the district capital of Colombo District. Colombo is a busy and vibrant place with a mixture of modern life and colonial buildings and ruins. It was the legislative capital of Sri Lanka until 1982. Due to its large harbour and its strategic position along the east-west sea trade routes, Colombo was known to ancient traders 2,000 years ago. It was made the capital of the island when Sri Lanka was ceded to the British Empire in 1815, and its status as capital was retained when the nation became independent in 1948. In 1978, when administrative functions were moved to Sri Jaya Ward in Apurakota, Colombo was designated as the commercial capital of Sri Lanka. Like many cities, Colombo's urban area extends well beyond the boundaries of a single local authority, encompassing other municipal and urban councils such as Sri Jaya Ward in Apurakota Municipal Council, Dehiwala Mount Lavinia Municipal Council, Kolinawa Urban Council, Kadu Willa Municipal Council and Koti Kamata Mullariawa Pradesh Usaba. The main city is home to a majority of Sri Lanka's corporate offices, restaurants and entertainment venues. Famous landmarks in Colombo include Gaul Face Green, Vihara Mahadevi Park, Bira Lake Colombo Racecourse, Planetarium, University of Colombo. Mount Lavinia Beach, Nelim Pokuna Theatre, Colombo Lotus Tower as well as the National Museum. Etymology The name Colombo, first introduced by the Portuguese in 1505, is believed to be derived from the classical Sinhalese name Colinthota, meaning port on the river Kalani. Another belief is that the name is derived from the Sinhalese name Kolarambathota which means harbour with leafy mango trees. The author of the oldest Sinhalese grammar, Siddhat Sangharava, written in the 13th century wrote about a category of words that exclusively belonged to early Sinhalese. It lists Narambar and Kolambar as belonging to an indigenous source. Kolambar may also be the source of the name of the commercial capital Colombo. History as Colombo possesses a natural harbour, it was known to Indian, Greeks, Persians, Romans, Arabs, and Chinese traders over 2,000 years ago. Traveller Ibn Battuta, who visited the island in the 14th century, referred to it as Kalanpu. Arabs, whose prime interests were trade, began to settle in Colombo around the 8th century AD mostly because the port helped their business by the way of controlling much of the trade between the Sinhalese kingdoms in the outside world. Their descendants now comprise the local Sri Lankan Moor community. Portuguese-era Portuguese explorers led by Dom Lorenzo de Almeida first arrived in Sri Lanka in 1505. During their initial visit they made a treaty with the king of Kota, Parakrama Bahu VIII, which enabled them to trade in the island's crop of cinnamon, which lay along the coastal areas of the island, including in Colombo. As part of the treaty, the Portuguese were given full authority over the coastline in exchange for the promise of guarding the coast against invaders. They were allowed to establish a trading post in Colombo. Within a short time, however, they expelled the Muslim inhabitants of Colombo and began to build a fort in 1517. The Portuguese soon realized that control of Sri Lanka was necessary for protection of their coastal establishments in India and they began to manipulate the rulers of the Kota Kingdom to gain control of the area. After skillfully exploiting rivalries within the royal family, 
they took control of a large area of the kingdom and the Sinhalese king Mayad unestablished a new kingdom at Sitawaka, a domain in the Kota kingdom. Before long he annexed much of the Kota kingdom and forced the Portuguese to retreat to Colombo, which was repeatedly besieged by Mayadun and the later kings of Sitawaka, forcing them to seek reinforcement from their major base in Goa, India. Following the fall of the kingdom in 1593, the Portuguese were able to establish complete control over the coastal area, with Colombo as their capital. This part of Colombo is still known as Fort and Houses the Presidential Palace and the majority of Colombo's five-star hotels. The area immediately outside Fort is known as Peta and is a commercial hub. Dutch era In 1638 the Dutch signed a treaty with King Raja Zina II of Kandy which assured the king assistance in his war against the Portuguese in exchange for a monopoly of the island's major trade goods. The Portuguese resisted the Dutch and the Kandians but were gradually defeated in their strongholds beginning in 1639. The Dutch captured Colombo in 1656 after an epic siege, at the end of which a mere 93 Portuguese survivors were given safe conduct out of the fort. Although the Dutch initially restored the captured area back to the Sinhalese kings, they later refused to turn them over and gained control over the island's richest cinnamon lands including Colombo which then served as the capital of the Dutch maritime provinces under the control of the Dutch East India Company until 1796. British era Although the British captured Colombo in 1796, it remained a British military outpost until the Kandyan Kingdom was ceded to them in 1815 and they made Colombo the capital of their newly created crown colony of British Ceylon. Unlike the Portuguese and Dutch before them, whose primary use of Colombo was as a military fort, the British began constructing houses and other civilian structures around the fort, giving rise to the current city of Colombo. Then, in 1833, the government agent of the Western Province was charged with the administration of the city. Centuries of colonial rule had meant a decline of indigenous administration of Colombo, and in 1865 the British conceived a municipal council as a means of training the local population in self-governance. The Legislative Council of Ceylon constituted the Colombo Municipal Council in 1865 and the council met for the first time on the January 16, 1866. At the time, the population of the region was around 80,000. During the time they were in control of the Colombo, the British were responsible for much of the planning of the present city. In some parts of the city tram car tracks and granite flooring lay during the era are still visible today. After independence this era of colonialism ended peacefully in 1948 when Ceylon gained independence from Britain. Due to the tremendous impact this caused on the city's inhabitants and on the country as a whole, the changes that resulted at the end of the colonial period were drastic. An entire new culture took root. Changes in laws and customs, clothing styles, religions and proper names were a significant result of the colonial era. These cultural changes were followed by the strengthening of the island's economy. Even today, the influence of the Portuguese, the Dutch and the British is clearly visible in Colombo's architecture, names, clothing, food, language and attitudes. Buildings from all three eras stand as reminders of the turbulent past of Colombo. The city and its people show an interesting mix of European clothing and lifestyles together with local customs. Historically, Colombo referred to the area around the Fort and Peta market which is famous for the variety of products available as well as the Khan Clock Tower, a local landmark. At present, it refers to the city limits of the Colombo Municipal Council. More often, the name is used for the conurbation known as Greater Colombo, which encompasses several municipal councils including Cotta. Dehiwela and Colombo. Although Colombo lost its status as the capital of Sri Lanka in the 1980s, it continues to be the island's commercial center. 
Despite the official capital of Sri Lanka moving to the adjacent Sri Jayawardana Purakota, most countries still maintain their diplomatic missions in Colombo. Geography Colombo's geography is a mix of land and water. The city has many canals and, in the heart of the city, the 65-hectare Baira Lake. The lake is one of the most distinctive landmarks of Colombo, and was used for centuries by colonists to defend the city. It remains a popular attraction, hosting regattas, and theatrical events on its shores. The northern and northeastern border of the city of Colombo is formed by the Kalani River, which meets the sea in a part of the city known as the Modera, which means river delta. Climate Colombo features a tropical monsoon climate under the Köppen climate classification, falling just short of a tropical rainforest climate. Colombo's climate is fairly temperate all throughout the year. From March to April the average high temperature is around 31 degrees Celsius. The only major change in the Colombo weather occurs during the monsoon seasons from May to August and October to January. This is the time of year where heavy rains can be expected. Colombo sees little relative diurnal range of temperature, although this is more marked in the drier winter months, where minimum temperatures average 22 degrees Celsius. Rainfall in the city averages around 2,400 mm a year. Attractions Gaul Face Green is a ribbon of green space located in the heart of the city along the Indian Ocean coast, and is a popular destination for tourists and residents alike. The Gaul Face Hotel is a historic landmark on the southern edge of this promenade. Gang Aramaya Temple is one of the most important temples in Colombo. The temple's architecture demonstrates an eclectic mix of Sri Lankan, Thai, Indian, and Chinese architecture. The Vihara Mahadevi Park is an urban park located next to the National Museum of Colombo and the Town Hall. It is the oldest and largest park in Colombo and features a large Buddha statue. As a part of the urban regeneration program of the government of Sri Lanka, many old sites and buildings were revamped to modern public recreational spaces and shopping precincts. These include Independence Memorial Hall Square, Peta Floating Market and Old Dutch Hospital among others. Demographics Colombo is a multi-ethnic, multicultural city. The population of Colombo is a mix of numerous ethnic groups, mainly Sinhalese, Sri Lankan Moors and Tamils. There are also small communities of people with Chinese, Portuguese, Dutch, Malay, and Indian origins living in the city, as well as numerous European expatriates. Colombo is the most populous city in Sri Lanka, with 642,163 people living within the city limits. In 1866 the city had a population of around 80,000. According to the census of 2001 the demographics of urban Colombo by ethnicity is as follows. Government and politics. Local government Colombo is a charter city, with a mayor-council form of government. Colombo's mayor and the council members are elected through local government elections held once in five years. For the past 50 years the city had been ruled by the United National Party, a right-leaning party, whose business-friendly policies resonate with the population of Colombo. However, the UNP nomination list for the 2006 municipal elections was rejected, and an independent group supported by the UNP won the elections. UVAI's Mohamed Imitias was subsequently appointed mayor of Colombo. The city government provides sewer, road management and waste management services, in case of water, electricity and telephone utility services the council liaises with the water supply and drainage board, the salon electricity board and telephone service providers. National capital Colombo was the capital of the coastal areas controlled by the Portuguese. Dutch and the British from the 1700s to the 1815 when the British gained control of the entire island following the Candian Convention. From then until the 1980s the national capital of the island was Colombo. 
During the 1980s plans were made to move the administrative capital to Sri Jaya Ward in Apurakota and thus move all governmental institutions out of Colombo to make way for commercial activities. As a primary step the parliament was moved to a new complex in Kota and several ministries and departments were also moved. However the move was never completed. Today many governmental institutions still remain in Colombo. These include the President's House, Presidential Secretariat, Prime Minister's House, Prime Minister's Office, the Supreme Court of Sri Lanka, Central Bank of Sri Lanka, important government ministries and departments, such as Finance, Defence, Public Administration and Home Affairs, City Limits. Colombo is divided into 15 numbered areas for the purposes of postal services. Within these areas are the suburbs with their corresponding post office. Capital Zone Suburbs Sri Jaya Ward in Apura Kota Legislature Pitta Kota, Ethul Kota, Nawala, New Jagoda, Rajagiriya, Outer Suburbs, Bataramulla, Bachuwata, Borales Gamuwa, Dalugama, Dehiwala Mount Lavinia, Akala, Homagama, Hokandara, Yarela, Kadawatha, Kiduwala, Kandana, Kiribath Goda, Kolinawa, Koswata, Koti Kamata, Kotawa, Maharagama, Malaba, Maratuwa, Panipitiya, Peliagoda, Piliandala, Ragama, Ratmalana, Thalawathu Goda, Watala, Wikramasinapura, Economy. The great majority of Sri Lankan corporations have their head offices in Colombo including eight Spence, Salinko Corporation, Stassen Group of Companies, John Keels Holdings, Cargills, Hemas Holdings, and Akbar Brothers. Some of the industries include chemicals, textiles, glass, cement, leather goods, furniture, and jewelry. In the city centre is the World Trade Centre. The 40-storey Twin Tower complex is the centre of important commercial establishments in the Fort District, the city's nerve centre. Right outside the fort area is Pitta which is derived from the Sinhalese word Pitta which means out or outside. The Colombo metropolitan area has a GDP of $48 billion, making it the core of the Sri Lankan economy. The per capita income of Colombo metro area stood at $8,623 and purchasing power per capita of $25,117, making it one of the most prosperous regions in South Asia considering Western Province contributes for 50% of GDP in Sri Lanka. The Colombo metropolitan area is the most important industrial, commercial and administrative centre in Sri Lanka. A major share of the country's export-oriented manufacturing takes place in the CM area which is the engine of growth for Sri Lanka. The western province contributes more than 50% to the GDP and about 80% of industrial value additions although it accounts for only 5.7% of the country's geographic area. Given its importance as the primary international gateway for Sri Lanka and as the main economic driver of the country, the government of Sri Lanka has launched an ambitious program to transform Colombo and its area into a metropolis of international standards. Bottlenecks are preventing the Colombo metropolitan area from realizing its full economic potential. To facilitate the transformation of Colombo, the government has to address these bottlenecks which have for long been obstructing economic and physical urban regeneration. Petter is more crowded than the fort area. Petter's roads are always packed and pavements are full of small stalls selling items from delicious sharbet to shirts. Main Street consists mostly of clothes shops and the crossroads, which are known as cross streets where each of the five streets specializes in a specific business. For example, the first cross street is mostly electronic goods shops, the second cellular phones and fancy goods. Most of these businesses are dominated by Muslim traders. At the end of the main street further away from Fort is the Sea Street, Sri Lanka's gold market, dominated by Tamil interests. 
This mile-long street is full of jewelry shops, including the former head office of Sri Lankan Airlines, law enforcement and crime. The Sri Lanka police the main law enforcement agency of the island liaise with the municipal council, but is under the control of the Ministry of Defense of the central government. Policing in Colombo and its suburbs falls within the metropolitan range headed by the Deputy Inspector General of Police. This also includes the Colombo Crime Division. As with most Sri Lankan cities, the Magistrate Court handles felony crimes, the District Court handles civil cases. As in other large cities around the world, Colombo experiences certain levels of street crime and bribery. Indeed, the corruption extends to the very top, U.S. reports show. In addition, in the period from the 1980s to 2009 there have been a number of major terrorist attacks. The LTT has been linked to most of the bombings and assassinations in the city. Wellacada Prison is situated in Colombo and it is one of the largest maximum security prisons in the country.